Hello and welcome to Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming. In this video, we are going to open up and build the latest uh, Primaris Chaplain. And this is the Primaris Chaplain on bike in a surprisingly small box, but it is well packed in there. Um, I've only just got my hands on this because it was delayed being shipped to Australia, but it's a glorious, it's a glorious model. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so let's get cracking into it. I've had a quick little peek inside, just so we know what we're getting. We'll come back to the sprues in a second, but so a little base for the bike. I do apologize for shaky cam because I still haven't sorted out that on my desk. Um, little transfer sheet. That's the standard character transfer sheet you get. So you get the chapel ones, a few other bits and pieces, which is nice. And the all important instructions. So if you look at the instructions, pretty straightforward. If you've built one of the bikes before, you'll have a pretty good idea about how to build it. Um, does seem to be a bit more split up than the uh, three pack you can get, or if you've got any one of the, like, I think Recruit Edition or Indominus. So there's a lot more steps that you gotta go through, but that's what we're gonna do. So let's have a look at the sprues. I'll get them out here. I don't know see what's going on. Yeah, two sprues. The bike is split up a lot more than the other bikes, like I just said. Um, it looks like you don't actually have to assemble it with this base. I will be doing it with this base. Um, I imagine I'm actually going to buy another version of this um, and have a little play around. I'm interested in using the top bit of the book um, as something for a, a special captain or librarian on a bike. We'll see, probably kept it on a bike. I want to do a few different bits and pieces, but you do get some cool bits in here, so not too shabby. So let's just get stuck in. I mean, no more mucking around. Let's build this. So, of course, we've got to, it looks like we build the bike first and then we put Senor Space Marine Chaplain on top. Um, so let's say we get one and two and three just on those ones there. So let's try and keep it together as well as possible. As usual, got all my, all my tools, the clippers, um, more line scraper, various different files, a knife, and some plastic glue. I will be doing this in sub-assemblies. Um, for the most part, most of it you can assemble, but the body and the backpack should be separate, um, simply because there's a lot of detail in there you need to get to. So part number one is on this screw here with the books. So check that out. So if you haven't seen one of these videos before, um, this is essentially like a build along it's unedited, I just sort of put the bike together, or we'll put the model together um, in real time. Um, yeah, just, just to show you how you can do it um, and any issues that come up as I'm building. One of the other things I usually do is not trim down the model, so any mold lines I generally don't remove unless it's crucial to getting a part in or something you can't come back to later, for example this little bit right here. Let's get the camera in a better position here. There we go. So yeah, like that little bit there, you can't get into, so I will trim that out a bit. But overall, I'll generally, if I can get access to it later, I'm gonna leave it. So, let's actually get the part correct. So it looks like it goes, I actually can't even see the instructions very well. Um, looks like, hard to see actually how it looks. And this is why I do these guides because some things don't always line up properly. And it looks like that's how it goes. So it goes like that, I think. Yeah, because there's two little notches and that locks in there. So let's get a little bit of glue in. Don't need much glue, just a little bit. I'll just push that into place and just let that lock in. So you may get some coughing in this video. I'm suffering from hay fever at the moment pretty badly. Um, so it has not been, hasn't been a fun time. Okay. I feel like they've stuffed these instructions up here. So step one, technically should be step two. Because you have the third part that goes in 
after that, but it's already in the image. So this is why I do these videos because you might not notice that straight up like I didn't. Um, but it looks like part three goes over the top of that anyway, so that should be okay. Let's find part three. Where is it? That's part six there. So it should be that one there. That should be part three. Yeah, that's part three. So this is a model that I have been looking forward to for a long time. Right. Let's see how we actually put this together. Just looking on the instructions, it's not clear. It looks like it goes like that. But the part itself. Art itself is very different. Okay. So it glues in like that. If you can see that. It's very strange. It's not very clear at all on the instructions. But um, with that bit, I will be able to come back and trim that up. So I'm not too fussed. So it looks like it's just two little contact points. Come on, little glue out you come. It's already, it's already locked up on me. Wow. Let's just give that a bit of a trim. Very odd. Very, very strange. There we go. That's better. So if you have got this model, let me know. Um, yeah, because like I said, I've been looking forward to this for a long time and I was really disappointed that it was delayed in Australia because it's one of the ones I wanted. Because I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty cool looking model. So yeah, I'm excited to get this together and give it a bit of a paint. All right, so that's locked in there. Um, I'll let that sit for just a little bit and um, tighten up. But in the meantime, we can get the first wheel and tire out. So four and five. Four five for some reason they're on the different sides but you know it is what it is so i'm going to chuck some music in the background to this today let me know what you think i'm being told the music shouldn't get any copyright strikes but you know we'll see but the music I'm using, you shouldn't get any copyright strikes. So some little notches for, there we go, for the um, wheel insert to go in. Right, let's put this puppy together. So there is a side with sort of a bit of a um, cutoff circle there so that easily, easily goes in. It's a shame that it's cut the wheel off there. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that they've done that. means you can't actually use the wheel in another kit without some maneuvering around okay so you want to line it up so the peg there is facing downwards all right that's nicely gone in so then we need to get part six and put that over the top yeah so there'll be nice some nice little beats going on in the background let me know what you think um, I'm just trying different things at the moment in videos. You know, you gotta try different things. Right, so this will lock in there. Again, you can see there's all little mold marks and things like that, but I'm not too fussed. It'll be fine. Cause I will come back and clean that up later. And just a tiny little bit of glue doesn't even need too much. All right, That's, that will lock into place. And now we start working on the other side, which is the back wheel. So when I did the um, other Outrider bikes, they actually came together really quickly. Once you get figured out the third one, it's like, okay, it's all just the same. It's just a different body in there. So I imagine this one's gonna pretty quick as well. So 
know that's going to go in there, so I'm not even really bothering measuring. I mean, you can trim up the sprue marks a little bit. Come on, in you get. Did it go in? I think that's in. I thought that needs to go in a bit more. Let's actually pull that out. needs to go in further. Yeah, that's really weird. This doesn't want to go in further. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I had it rotated incorrectly. I think if you just get your thumb twisted around, it goes in. All right, the other side of the bike. Um, where is the other side of the bike? Oh, I've got it out. Wow. <laughs> I've literally have just finished work. Um, I had the recording, all my gear out, ready to go, and I've literally just finished work, so I'm like, okay, just record it. So I'm still, my head is still a bit in work mode at the moment. Now, we put the bike together completely. It'll be a test to see if it works, so we'll dry fit it first. Beautiful, that was locking. Um, it's a bit loose at the moment, but that will lock in once we push it. I still didn't want to push it too much. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here and there. Major contact points. Mm, a bit there, a bit there. All right, that should be fine. Now, if everything's done correctly, it should lock in. There we go. Locks in. I had a bit of glue on my hand, but that'd be fine. All that stuff will be hidden. So you can see on the bike, you do have sort of the lower body um, of the chaplain with the legs. So you can stick, what we're going to do is stick the legs in, but with the body and the backpack and the shoulder packs, I'm going to keep that separate. So basically two parts. All right, now we're going to put the exhaust on. So we need part 10. Part 10, is that one there? I might actually clean this up a little bit. I might not be able to get access to it a little bit later. That's all right. It's not actually too bad. And that glues into that little hole there, but I did miss a bit. And there's a um, socket and peg that goes into there, so we can just glue that in. That'll be fine, and just a little bit in there. That will stick in. Oops. So I'm just making sure I can actually get this lined up properly. It's a little, little tricky. There we go, locks in. Now, it wants us to put on the handlebars. No, not the handlebars, the footrests. It's the opposite part of the body. So it's clearly part 12. Yep, part 12 which is next to the little base area. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. Just give it a little bit of a clean, a little bit of a tidy up, I think. Nothing too major, because we will have access to this later. Right, and that slides onto this bottom bit. Um, just making sure that Get that correct. It's that way. That way. I'm just trying to get, yeah, like that. So I'm just thinking like where the legs go. So the legs go down there and the legs go up, or the feet go up. Nice and lovely. All right, so next we need the number 11. I'm just giving that a bit of a push, just so, um, just so it locks in. All right, so the other exhaust. This one's actually coming together pretty nicely. Definitely a lot more bits and um, it's cut up slightly different to the other Outriders. So if you're getting this kit and expecting it to be similar, um, 
You'll be close. It's somewhat similar, but it's not the same. Okay, and on this side. A little bit of grit in there. So, a little bit of glue just in that bit and just on that bit there. And that will take it nicely. There we go. Looks like you could put a little bit of glue um, just in that bit there and that bit there to lock it on, but I don't think it needs it. But if you are concerned about it um, moving around, it shouldn't because you do have the socket joints in there that are glued. That should be fine. Right, it wants us to put the body together. Um, let me think about this. Because there's still a bit of the bike we need to put on. I am hesitant to do that. Yeah, what we'll do, we will skip the body, um, but I will build this leg and put that on. And then the other leg can go in there too, that'll be fine. I'm just hesitant because it will be a little bit difficult to get to all the detail. I mean, obviously it won't be too much of a problem, but um, the shoulder pad, I'll show you the shoulder pad. So the shoulder pad has a lot of purity seals on there that do dangle. Um, there's a lot of detail in that body you gotta to get to, like the arm on that side too. And the backpack, which has some stuff on it. No, the backpack's actually empty for a change. Okay, that's fine, but I just wanna get, we get this section built. And when we come to putting in the, um, these things, handles, handles, are they called handles? I don't know. Um, we'll have, a, we'll have a look and think about it. So we want 18, 17 and 18. That's 16, that's 17. So 17, 18. Might be on this one here. There we go, there's 18 there. This is where it starts to get a little bit fiddly. And you definitely do want to pay attention to these bits because you want them to be nice and clean. But what I'll do, I'll put it together first. So you can see there's a lot of mold lines in there, um, a lot of sprue connectors. So I will actually clean up some of this now. A little bit there should be fine. A little ankle um, ball socket. I'll give that a little bit of a clean as well. I should need a knife for this. So like I said, I wouldn't normally clean up everything for these videos. I definitely do when I'm not filming. Um, but yeah, there's certain bits that you're not going to be able to have access to later. And the front bit... Um, I will have access to all of these later, so I'll be able to tidy that up at some point in the future. Come on, little glues. That should be enough. Nice. I love the chapel aesthetic of, like, the uh, riveted... Um, I guess extruded bits. So there is a little bit there, a um, little bit of sprue there, and on the other side that you probably will need to take off, but because um, we are just building it like this, it'll be fine because we can have access to it later. And that slides in nicely just like that. So, a little bit there, and a little bit on the grating. And that goes in. Kind of, kind of. There we go, that's better. A little bit fiddly. Doesn't seem to quite touch the um, footrest, which is odd. But, because I need to get it in there. That's where it goes. Odd, that's really strange. Hmm, interesting. Doesn't quite get on the footrest as you can see there. Very strange. But that's fine. I'd rather get it onto the body and we can fix this up later. We can take this bit out, um, trim down some of the inside bits and push it up a bit. 
Okay, let's do the other leg. So 16, 15, 16. Uh, both on this one. So we're already about 20 minutes into the build. Um, and it's, no. We're getting into the little fiddly bits now. But that's okay, I'd rather, and normally I would spend way much more time than this on a character or like an elite unit, single model unit, I guess. But for this, um, we're doing it for the video. Right, that'll be fine. And the same as the other leg, a little bit of glue there. And sort of just a little bit on the sides as well. You could put a little bit of glue there for the uh, crocs, but I don't actually think it's necessary. All right. Let's get this baby on this side. See how, we'll dry fit it first, see if it fits properly. How does it fit into there? Interesting. So you do have like a triangle socket that it goes in, but interestingly, let's have a look. Ah, it actually goes down on the ground. I forgot about that. All right. Okay. So that's the position there. You can see if my giant thumb goes like that, not on the full rest. I forgot. It might be a bit fiddly while it's drying up. But that's just how it is. All right, so we've got that in there. All right, so I just want to double check the rest of here. Particularly, what I'm concerned about is the section here, the handles and the arm, and how that actually slots in. Because I do recall from the other one, it slots in underneath and then the um, outer casing of the bike goes on top. So I just want to be careful of that. But then I don't want to build the body yet. I want to come back to that. Okay, let's have a look. What we'll do, we'll cut out the pieces of um, the big chunky pieces of the bike itself and we'll dry fit it and just see what it actually looks like. Definitely some pieces I need to chop off here. I think this piece here I was worried about. Oh, it's okay, it's not too bad actually. Okay. So this piece goes here. Let's have a look. I actually think you can get away with it. Just thinking. Yeah, just thinking. Okay, that's not even straight at all for some reason. That's so weird. Have I... <laughs> Have I completely stuffed this up? Look at that, it's not even straight. That's ridiculous. But that's where it went in. I think it was, yeah, so it is turned a bit on the image. You can see there, the front wheel is turned. That's fine. And that's how it lines up. It's just a little strange how it doesn't line up correctly with the bike itself. Unless I'm doing it the wrong way. Oh, I had it on the wrong side. Whoops. Um, I think I can get away with this. And even if we can't, we can trim down the little handlebar. So, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to be daring and just do it. I don't think there's much point um, stuffing around with it, to be honest. So I think it'll go on fairly easily. All right, we've got that bit on. Let's get the other bit out.
trim this up a bit, even though it's on the bottom. I just want to trim it up just a little bit more. It's not a tidy trim up, but it'll be fine. I'm more concerned about these bits here. We're not going to have access to it. Be able to clean that one up. We'll be able to clean them up. Actually, we'll be able to clean them all up. Won't be an issue. It just annoys me. And I know it annoys a lot of people watching. <laughs> but it is what it is. Right. Interesting. Okay, so that goes on. No problem. Let's put a little bit of glue just in here to lock it in. That's pretty much it. Most of the bike done, I believe. Okay, so pushing that in, give a little bit of a push. So you do lose a little bit of access to the inside there, but I think that's fine. That kind of stuff you can ignore. All right, so that's pretty much the bike in general. So we do put the book on it. Let's put the book on it now, because we're gonna have to put the book on it anyway. So we'll do the book and then we'll come back and finish building the boss man himself. A little fiddly bits here because of the chains, but I think that'll be fine. Okay, we'll need to trim out there. I'm just trying to be super careful not to actually hold on to the chains or bump them in anyway. I think definitely you'll need a fresh blade um, for this model. Some very fiddly bits, and I don't have a fresh blade, so I'm being very careful when I'm cutting and chopping away. Right. Let's think about this. So this is the bottom of. This is the bottom. So I think it goes like that, and then this ties into there like that. Yep, just like that. So we will build it first. Nice. It's going in nicely. Nice. I do love the little tiny attention to detail. Just little tiny details. I love it. I'll test fit that now, just make sure that's correct particularly with the chains. Okay, so it looks in like that. Um, I'll do most of it just there, that'll lock it all in. Just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit of glue on those chains. So I don't want to clog up that detail. Okay. And they are touching, so that will lock in nicely. Beautiful. Give that a little bit of a push. Feels like it's sitting above it, but it's not because it is touching the chain. It's very odd. On the image, yeah, on the image it is raised a little bit, which is not ideal. I think it's because of the corner brass sections, I guess. Okay, got the book on. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I love that addition to it. Very cool. All right, so let's actually build the man himself. Right, so the body, um, 13 and 14. Obviously, those parts are gonna be pretty clear, but, you know, just make sure you get the right one. I haven't done that bit, what's that bit? Did I miss a bit? What is that bit? Part 27. Oh, okay, it goes on the back. All right, that's fine. I was just a bit confused because I thought we'd finish building the bike. I mean, technically we have, but technically, technically speaking, we have. So the body, let's go back, um, part 14, where is it? There it is, the front, love. And that's also, I really love that design. I love just the slight variations in torsos particularly for Space Marines. I mean, because yes, they all are newly armored. Or the Primaris, I mean. Um, still. All right, it's a little bit there. 
just a little bit of variation. Okie doke. Okie doke. Nice and simple. I guess together really nicely. So yeah, normally you would um, plug it in right away. But I just feel like I'd, I'm going to be missing um, access to a lot of the detail. And yeah, you do have to sort of move it around. I see why they want the body in first. Because of the little crux uh, symbol there. It locks into the torso. Just like that. Yeah, I'd just rather have that out. So I do have access to the belt as well. So we won't put that in. Just, just be wary. If you lock it in, there is a little latch there on the crux that you can glue in as well. But we shan't be doing that. Um, so, head. Um, actually, we've got to glue... Oh, I'll put the head on first, then we'll glue the arm. So head-wise, we need... We're going to go for the helmeted one. Um, I like to build it to the box art. Just personal preference. And then we get an unmasked head later on, which is nice. Actually, the sprue's pretty clean, to be honest. There are sprue lines, but... Or mold lines, but normally, not actually too much to do. Good. Alright. That will lock in, so we can just put a bit of glue there. Nice. Oops. Just slides in like that. And yes, you can keep the head completely separate, and I recommend that. But... Um, we're not doing that. Yeah, you definitely, for Space Marine helmets, I think you should have the head separate. There's a lot of detail that goes into the faces, so, because your eye is drawn to the face. Right, so that's stuck on there. Now we need to put the arm on, which is 19, which is over here. Alright, let's clean that up a little bit. It's not too bad. Because you're not going to see this bit, but I need to clean it so we can get the shoulder pad on. Lovely. And the other bit here. Lovely. So normally, um, this would lock into this section here. So, see what I mean? You can actually get it in there, no problem. Um, I know with the other bikes, the Outrider bikes, it was difficult to get it in. And it's not, it's a snug fit, but... That's fine. One of the problems is you need to get the arm straight. So what you could do, honestly, what you could do, and I don't highly recommend this, glue that in like that, and then make sure the body fits in and it lines up. So you know what? I might actually do that instead. Because even if you have this out here, Um, you're still going to have trouble getting to that um, bit of the body, so into the chest area, if I can actually get it in shot. Because it is somewhat in the way, it's not the worst thing in the world, and you can get around it, but, you know, it'll be alright. I'm just thinking, I'm just making decisions here, thinking about it from a painting perspective. Will it work? I don't want to lock it in and then also you can't move it. Because it is fiddly. It's quite fiddly. No, I'm going to put it in here. Oh, do I want to do that though? No, I'd, I'm struggling with decisions at the moment. Um, I think we'll go here. Let's just do it. It locks in. You can feel it lock in. I'm just concerned about getting it all together. So what I might do, I'll take that off now. Try not to get all the wispy glue bits in there. Just put it in there. Put, put senior bodies in. 
and it's all falling apart. I'm getting that in there. Wow, okay. All right, okay, everyone. Everyone chill out. I'm gonna glue it on the bike. I think that's the way to go. Not what I wanted to do, but at least we know the arm will be in the correct position. And then the body. You know what? Oh, you just don't get access to the belt. That's what I don't like about it. Screw it. I'm putting it all together. You can fight me later on it. Get in there, mate. In you get, fella. Is he going in? Why isn't he going in this time? Being very odd. Yeah, it's just not locking in now. I might have stuffed it. There we go. Alright. Spin him around, get him in the right spot. We'll just have to accept it. Um, we can get access to it. It's fine. A lot of this detail in there will be hidden anyway. So, but each to your own. Like, if you want to do it that way, go for it. All right, so we've got the head on. Now we need the halo. So the halo is on this one here. So just make sure that you are cutting it correctly because you can see on the back of the helmet, there is a little socket there that it goes in. Oh, I had to sneeze. And that locks in. Make sure it's in there correctly and straight. Doesn't look straight at all to me. Correct angle. Okay. That looks better. You just gotta eyeball that and get it in. I do love how on the greaves they do have like this um, leather binding. Love it. Just all those little bits of detail that goes, oh, okay, yeah, these still are somewhat human, even though they're not really. All right, so part 23. <laughs> We're getting towards the end now. So my sub assembly dream has failed but that's okay. It is what it is. One thing I don't like about this design, where they've, the direction of the purity seals, the thought has been, so normally, if we're standing upright, so this would be normally upright, they would be falling down. Why would you put the purity seals in that direction, knowing that when he's standing up or not moving, they would be falling down over the actual seal? Just something I don't like. <laughs> um, it just really annoyed me when I first saw that. Now I can't unsee it. And I'll show you what I mean. There we go, that actually goes in really nicely. So again, you can't quite get access to everything, but that's fine, that's all right. It is what it is. Um, you see what I mean? They're falling down, like it's, his arm is perfectly placed for it, for the purity seals to fall down when they would not place the purity seals like that. And that really annoys me. Sorry. Oh well, uh, okay, so now we need part 24. Same with this shoulder pad, same issue. Like they were placed purposely there because when he's going fast, his arm's going to be in a certain position. Right, that will lock on there. Don't need too much glue, but because there's a lot of surface area, we can chuck on a lot. There we go. There we go. All right, what else have we got here? 
So we've got that bit, um, backpack. Let's just put the backpack on. If we're doing it all for one model, it's fine. We'll throw it on. Nothing in the model is really difficult to get to. It's just a little bit of a pain. But it's okay. It's okay. Oh, no. They're not little sprue marks. <laughs> I forgot it has little um, studs on them. On the little like exhaust pack part of it. Get all those little extra bits off. And we'll glue this in. Oh, sorry for sniffing and sneezing. Hay fever time. There's something about Chaplin design aesthetics that I really, really like. I don't know what it is. I think it's just all that little extra ornaments, like the little studs, the little extra um, armoring on the sides there of the legs. Little things like that I like. Ah, oh, such a cool model. I love it. All right, we've still got a few more bits to do. 28, we've got a skull that goes on the back. Um, actually, no, we need to put 27 in. Where's 27? Tidy that up a little bit. Oh, I've tidied that up a bit too much. All right, so that goes in. I'm just trying to figure out how it goes. It's a little bit like that. That's ridiculous. Um, how does that actually even go in? Where does it go? So it goes on the little side bits, but that's actually really difficult to get in there. Wow, you gotta maneuver that in. Not great in my mind. I mean, honestly, that should go on first. I'm gonna move that in. Locks in there. And again, there's bits you can't actually get to. There's a little like leather uh, latch there. Another leather latch just there. I don't actually really know what that is, but it's fine. That will glue itself in. Just sort of moving it to get in the right spot. Okay. All right, so now we have a little skull we're gonna put on one side. My goodness, we're so close. That's a head. There's a little skull there. It's like a pretty cool looking skull, by the way. We'll get it on there and we'll have a little bit of a close up. So I guess we just dab some glue and stick it on. I wish I had some tweezers for this bit, actually. Oops. Get back on their backpack. Oh, come on. There we go. Cool looking skull. Get a close up of that. Yeah, it's like a rivet, like a bending in his head, a little bolt at the back. Look kind of cool. And finally, we need um, part 29, which is a little, little some little icons. All right, so I'll stick that on now. Oops, little skull. Get back on there. And I guess we can put that anywhere. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I don't actually know where that goes, to be honest. Oh, it goes on the side of this bit here. Some little ornaments. Probably a bit too much glue there, but that will go on. Lock that in place. There we go. Little ornament there. Lovely. So now we need to put the base on. Um, oh, I don't really want to put the base on, to be honest. I want to keep it separate and then paint it just so I can get some better angles. Because like I said, you don't actually need the base because you do lose, actually goes that way. You actually lose a lot of access to detail, so I'm actually going to leave that off. Leave that off for now, I will glue it on. 
just so we can actually see the whole thing in action and we can um, put it on the base later. This will stick down nicely. There we go. All right, put that down there. So I won't muck around with the base for now. I'll just have a look at this bike. Look at it. It's glorious. It really is. It is one of my favorite models from the latest range from like ninth edition so far. Love the aesthetic. I haven't gone too far out. It was the craziness, but you do get a whole bunch of cool stuff. There we go. So that's it. Chaplin on a bike. Very cool model. I do recommend it. Um, if you want to get it, check the link below in the description. You can get a discount from Element Games and I've also got affiliate links for like US and a few other locations. So there we go. That's it. Primaris Chaplin on bike. Thanks for watching. If you do like these videos, please do subscribe, hit that like button. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell notification too. So you get notified as soon as videos go up pretty much every day, every other day at the moment. And look, tons of live streaming going on too. There we go. I love it. Like I said, I recommend it, get it. It's a cool model. That's it. I'm out of here. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.